I never have a denominator root of GC with positive A. Now, the zero creates a problem, and I'll address it very shortly. But I first need to finish without. So, specifically, if I don't have that, this is very clear. So, DC has no positive denominator roots. So, the total number of denominator roots of 1 plus QR with positive real part is the number of denominator roots of GU with positive real part. Denominator roots from positive real part can only come from GU. So, the number of positive denominator roots of 1 plus GUR is the number of non positive denominator roots of DUDC, which is equal to the number of positive denominator roots of GU, which we actually get using, for example, the result. With me? So, if I do, so the result of this is, if I were to do, if we create a plot of 1 plus G O L of S, as S travels the ninth path, understand in a second why it becomes minus one second. Okay. okay. So so far so good guys? Do you know? Plus GOL. 
So it might be something like, I, I can do something functional. So, do you understand the concept behind what we did? And typical notation, so I was sort of saying, and numerator which is that the zeros of 1 plus 0 f is to use the symbol z for the number of positive closed loop poles, which are the numerator roots of 1 plus 0. So, here is simple. The night stability criteria. Right Remember these two days? So it boils down to do a plot of GL of S as S travels the night star. The number of positive denominator roots of 1 plus GL that 
I have inside is simply the number of positive poles of G. I can immediately get it. the number of zeros that are inside, which is the number of positive zeros, is the number of positive closed loop walls, <coughs> which is what I need for closed loop stability. How are we doing this? So, get the rest. One more time. It looks like okay, we need more time. So, here is the final form of the 90 stability method. Does it mean anything? Oh, it means something. <laughs> Daniel. What does it mean? That's a better question. If I find Z negative, what does that mean? Ask me. That we're encircling negative one zero counterclockwise? No. No, no, no. That would be N negative. No. If I get Z negative, what does that imply? It implies one think absolutely, definitely, 100% certainly if I get a Z negative. What does it mean if I get a Z negative? You did it wrong. Thank you. Say it. You did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It means I messed up. Obviously, we cannot have a negative number of positive roots. Obviously. So. 
The result will be z either positive or zero. If z is positive, closed loop unstable. If it's zero, closed loop stable. Hmm. One more, let's write that down. One more time. If it's positive, closed loop unstable. If it's zero, closed loop stable. So I can rewrite this criterion by saying that to have closed group stability, I must have z equals zero or n equals minus p. So if I have a positive closed loop GU, n has to be minus 1 to be closed loop state. If I have two positive loops, uh, two positive poles of GU, I will have to have n equals minus 2 to be state. Word of caution. Some chemical engineering control textbooks, without saying anything, give the NIPO stability criterion as the closed loop stable the closed loop system is stable if n equals zero. That's correct if my system is open loop stable. If the system is open loop stable, p is zero, so n must be zero. But only if it is open loop stable, n must be zero for stability. So be careful. In some texts, you may see that version of the Nyquist without mentioning the additional assumption of open loop stability. Is that a J Zero about the origin would exclude the origin 